This is how I edit my videos for uploading to my Amazon storefront. What I'm using right here is CapCut and I'm going to just click on import and go find my file. It is right here. So I'm going to import that and then I'm just going to drag it down here to the work area and I'm going to expand this, make it larger. So what I'm basically reviewing here is unboxing this automatic soap dispenser. And I recorded this video without any sound, but there may be some background noise as I'm unboxing and opening it. So I want to eliminate the audio before I do the voiceover. So what I'm going to do is right click here on this timeline and then click extract audio. And that takes the audio out. And then I'm going to click here and then right click again and then click delete. So there is no audio. If I were to play, play this, there's nothing here. From this point, I'm going to just start editing it. You can see right here, it's 43 seconds and 13, whatever, <laughs> milliseconds. I don't know what, um, I'm going to cut this down a little bit. We're going to just kind of play it and see how it goes. So this little slider here is where the video is playing at. So if I click, press the play button, it will play from that point. I want to start from the beginning. So I'm dragging that line all the way over there. I, okay. So now that I'm have the line at the beginning, I'm going to press play and start watching. Showing the box, opening the box, and then I'm going to start taking the stuff out. This one I might not need to edit too much. I don't need, I don't think that I need to be showing me opening the box. So I'm going to click right here where it says split. See how it, where my mouse is, the pink mouse. This is going to split the two parts of the vid into two parts. So right now the video is in one piece. So this is going to split it. It's not going to delete anything. So I'm going to click that. And then what I can do is I can press play and press pause where I want to, you know, get rid of stuff, or I can just use the slider back and forth and put it where I might want it. So like say, right here when I'm showing the instruction and see what my line is here. I want to basically cut all of this out and I can do a few things. I can click on the split button here and then right click and delete. So actually let me do that. So right now it's, it's split it into three pieces. So you can see this is the first piece. This is the second piece. And then this is the third piece. So right here is the middle. I would right click and then click delete and it'll go. And then it moves everything over to the left. Let me undo that two times. So I'm going to leave it where I want to split it. And then I'm going to click on this one that says delete left. See how there's a little, there's two little brackets. The one on the left is kind of dotted and the one in the right is solid. So the dotted one is the one that gets deleted. So everything to the left of this line is going to get deleted. So I'm going to click that. I find this to be faster than splitting it and then deleting it. If I know what I'm, I want to do it I just do it. So let's delete that. And then I'm going to go. Okay. So we got the instructions. I'm showing the USB. I don't think I need to have this again. So I'm going to split it right here and right there where I'm going to turn it over. Let's do some delete left again. And you notice it's making it shorter. So um, shorter video videos can be better. Um, so let's play it a little bit. So I'm going to go right here and I'll play it a little bit showing that it's plastic. I don't think I need to show myself doing that where I swirl my finger on the top. So let's take that out. I like the part where I take the label off. So let's do that. Take that off. Play it again. Okay. And another thing that I should have done with this video, and I might still add it, is show it being used with the soap in it. So I may go back tomorrow and add that. I'm not in the mood to record it right now, um, but this is a video about editing. So I am going to basically show how to edit here. Uh, so let's just continue and then I'll show how I can add the clip tomorrow when I'm ready to add it. So play it a little bit more talking about the little wall mountable clip things and showing how there's two. I'm going to cut it right there.
and I don't need this whole thing. So let's just delete that. Okay. So now I've got it down to 20 seconds. Okay. So if I wanted to add another clip, I just have to go up here to import. So tomorrow when I make my clip, I'm going to go up to import. I'm going to go grab another clip. Let me just simulate that this is the other clip, even though it's not import. And then I have this one and I would just click and drag it right behind it. So uh, this is a totally different product, but basically this would be the video of me filling the soap dispenser with the soap and then using it, just demoing how to use it. So let me undo this. Um, I am not ready to add that right now, but I do want to save the progress that I've made. So what I'll do is I'll export this and I'm going to put this here. It's not a finished video yet. So let me just add soap. I can't, my microphone's in the way. So basically what I'll do tomorrow is I can just import the new file and what it's going to do is it's going to take all of these little chunks out. So you know, see how this one is one, two, three, four, five pieces. It will all be one piece when I import it tomorrow. So that is how I edit my videos. I would take that file if it was done and I would upload it to the Amazon storefront and I would tag the product and I could also use the same video on any of my social media platforms, TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, uh, wherever I like. Okay, so I went ahead and recorded the other part of the video of me showing the soap dispenser I'm gonna integrate into the video that I already created. So what I'm gonna go do is go and import the video that I exported yesterday, the one that said unfinished. So soap dispenser unfinished. I am going to import that. And then I'm also going to get the new video where I had recorded the soap thing. So I'm going to drag both of those down. So here's that one. And then I'm going to put this one after. And then now I basically just have to edit this part. This one has me talking. Remember this one I need to do a voiceover on. So that's going to be interesting. <laughs> I'll, I'll go over that later, but basically I'm going to play this and I'm going to start editing this part. So here's the soap dispenser with soap I've added. I filled it up to about halfway. The creative... Okay. So right away, I'm going to right here, click on the little delete left. And I'm going to go through here and finish editing this. I'm, I'm not going to bore you with the detail. And then I will show you how to do a voiceover on the first part. And then I will show you how to export the file to upload it, use it wherever that, you know, you would like. So for this one, I am going to delete everything from this line to the right to the end of this clip. So I'm going to use the other one that's right here. That's called delete right. So for this one, I am hovering over the little part and kind of dragging it. Um, I don't know that I like doing that. So let me, um, I, I would rather, I, I don't want to, that's moving both sides. If I see how it's highlighting in the middle with that green, what I would want to do is click on the side that I want to adjust and move it either in or out, and that's going to make the video either shorter or longer. So let me pay play this again and see if I got it right. So one or two seems to work for me. I think it is on the Okay. So from here, I can go here and click on the delete right, or I can just drag this over and kind of snap it to that line. I don't know if I'm going to need the rest of this at all. Other than that, I think it's a great little machine. I like it. I think it looks nice. And I like that I can see the suds and I like that I can see the level that's in here. So I know when to fill it out or there, there are some other ones where it's solid down here. May or may not want that. I wanted to see what I had in there so that I know when to refill it. But that is that little guy. And, um, and that's it. So this whole section is just me just blathering on and just rambling and it's not even needed in the video. So I'm going to delete this. Um, one thing I did want to note and show is you can kind of see where the talking is. See where right here, there's a break. 
Um, so that's a good place to cut sometimes when you're not talking to cut those things out. I'm just going to delete this whole section. So there's that. Um, a few other things that I wanted to show while I'm here is you can click on any of these sections and you're going to get a whole little panel of things that you can change. I'm not going to go over everything, but basically you can make um, video settings, audio settings. You can speed it up, slow it down. You can add animations. You can add all this stuff in this panel. And then over here on the left, you can add audio. You can add text on the screen, stickers, effects, transitions. You may want to transition in between each scene. So like just as an example, I'll go to transitions and I will just pick one of the many transitions and I'm going to just click it and drag it in between those two things. So let's play that on so you can see. Links and links off the site links. You can control the level. Of see how it did a little zoom. That might be interesting. Um, I don't like it to do transitions on my Amazon videos. Maybe for social media, yeah, but not for Amazon. Um, so here's the point I'm going to show where to do the voiceover. So I'm going to bring it over here. And what I would do is, and I don't know if I can do this at the same time as I'm recording this video. I'm thinking not because I have the same microphone, but you want to put your little line where you want to start your voiceover. And then there's a little microphone button right here. You can click voiceover. This little screen comes up. You can pick your input device. So, okay. So I'm using my microphone. This is my K66. I'm using that to record this video, but maybe I can use my built-in MacBook Pro microphone to show you how to do it. Um, so let's just do that. And then I'll click record and it's going to start recording in a three second countdown. And then I would just start talking. This is the automatic soap dispenser. I'm going to show you what's inside. You get a little book, of course, USB-C charging cord. Here is the device. It's plastic on the bottom, not glass, which I like. You can hang it on the wall if you like. It gives you these little brackets that kind of slip right in there. And then you've got two of those if, if needed. Here's Otherwise, so that's it. Actually, I started kind of bleeding over and I stopped it by clicking the, the button. So now what I can do is I can go back down here. You notice I, I, it added a voiceover panel. So I'm going to actually cut off the part where it started talking over here. And, and I need to make sure that I'm clicked on the voiceover part and playing it to that point. And then I will click on the delete right button. So let's do that. See, I don't need all that. So I'm just going to actually cut it right here. Make sure that this is highlighted and I'm going to click on delete right. And then now when I play it, let's listen. Here's the soap dispenser. So the other thing I wanted to note is that I noticed, and I don't know if you can tell on this video, but I noticed that there was a difference in volume between the voiceover and the one where I recorded on my phone where the cam, you know, the phone was right in front of my face. I was very, a lot closer. So what you can do, what I would normally do is click on the audio and I would go over to uh, right here under volume and I would just bring it up a little bit into decibels and just kind of see how it sounds. Make sure it kind of matches. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you know, I like it to be as close as possible. And then you've got two of those. If, if Here's the soap dispenser. It's not too bad. Um, let me raise it up a little bit more and listen to it. And then you've got two of those. If, if Here's the soap dispenser with soap I added. I That's not too bad. So let's just keep it like that. Um, I can add background music if I want. Like I said, text on screen. I can make it all fancy. I don't really think that's needed. What I'm going to do actually is just export. So upper right corner, I'm going to click export. I'm going to change it to my finished videos folder, click open. And this may be a little bit different if you're on windows. I am on a Mac, but I'm going to do soap oops, dispenser final, and then I'm going to click export. And you've got some of these other options you can, you can download it at 1080p. You can download it at 4k. 4k is just going to be bigger. 2k is going to be bigger than 1080p. I think 1080p is fine for Amazon. Um, you could play around with any of these if you want. Uh, I don't know that I need to change anything. So I'm actually just going to click export. It's going to take a little bit of time on these short videos. It takes like seven seconds this is or immediate. <laughs> so it's already downloaded the file. So now I would go to the place where I 
downloaded, you know, exported the file and I would upload it to where I wanted to. And in my case, I would upload it to Amazon. I also could use the same, this very same video and upload it to my social media channels. If I wanted to, I could add text on screen in, in the apps themselves, you know, that's advisable so that you can get the SEO on that. So uh, I might just do that. I might just upload this to uh, YouTube, but it is kind of long for YouTube. So YouTube shorts would be um, a minute or under 60 seconds. So I may need to go through here and make this a little bit shorter, cut certain things out in order for it to fit on YouTube shorts. If that's where I want it to go. Um, I could put it as a regular YouTube video. I could also do something like speed it up so I can click on here. I can go to speed and just increase it however much, but it's going to make the audio sound funny. So that is one thing that I do need to notice. So what did I do it up to? Five. Uh, yeah, it's going to sound ridiculous. <laughs> um, so let's just try it just for funsies. Um, let's see. It's still over a minute though. Oh, you know what? Cause I didn't apply it to all sections. So that's the one thing that you have to be aware of. What I do on that is I click the down arrow right here on the, the right in the middle and kind of just scrunch it up. And then I use the mouse to, um, highlight everything like that. Well, I couldn't do the audio. I got to do all the video, go to speed and change it all at once. Let's just do a two because I think it's going to be too fast. Still, um, same for the voice. I'm going to actually take it back down to two and, um, let's watch it at two times speed. I think it's going to be too fast, but this is the automatic soap dispenser. Which I, can decide to look up. Of course, you must be seeing charging cord. I don't know. This sounds funny. Um, maybe I could take it instead of having it one, maybe one and a half. So that, that was for that audio. And then I'm going to kind of, oops, I'm going to click and drag and do, let's take it down to a one and a half. It put it over at one minute and three seconds. So it's still too long for YouTube shorts, but let's see how it sounds. I might be able to cut out three seconds somewhere. Yeah, I don't, like I said, I don't know if I'm going to upload this to YouTube, uh, shorts or cut it down. Um, I, I might need to just do a better cut down of this video, which, which I can do by basically just starting a new project. And I would probably just import the one piece that I had that I just exported. So I would go here to finish videos, take that soap dispenser final, and then import it. Now, just one thing to note is the, in, the media that you load in here and, you know, use it and drag it down here. It doesn't edit that original media. So that's the beauty of, of these editing tools is if I really mess this up and I don't want to have to keep clicking undo, 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 undo. I just start a new project and then just go and grab the files again and just start all over again. So I would probably go on this one. So I only have one piece here to work with and then cut this up a little bit more to get it under that minute, but I'll do that in a different video, but that's basically it. And I just wanted to share my editing process for doing these kind of videos. I hope that this video was helpful. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already. And as a sneak peek, I've been recording this entire video on CapCut.com. So you can go and do a screen recording like this for free. I just wanted to show you that little bonus tip in there that you can do things like this as well. It's got an amazing amount of tools in here. So I would definitely recommend getting the CapCut version for your phone. If you like editing on your phone, I prefer to use the CapCut version on my computer for doing the editing that I'm doing. And then I use the cap.cut.com to do my screen recordings just so I can kind of separate the two things in and do that. But yeah, I'm going to click here and click the red button right now. And then I'm going to download this video from capcut.com and then upload this to YouTube. All right. That is really the last thing. I will see you in the next video. All right. Bye.